The Leon Hess Comprehensive Secondary School is one of the many schools which resumed in-person instruction on Monday, September 7th. The school has adopted the six-day cycle, with the seventh designated for planning and preparation. Principal Rohan Lubon says it was difficult to accommodate the six-day cycle as the entire timetables had to be changed. This means alternate instruction, more double periods, and an online blended approach. The form ones, threes, and fives come in on one on alternate days, and we have the form twos, the threes as well, and fives, from twos, threes, and fours, sorry, come in on the other days. So the form threes are split down the middle. The students were given timetables ahead of today, so they are all aware. Letters were sent to parents comprehensive letters explaining the protocols and procedures so they are all aware as to what is expected of them and the students. Uh, we have had so far a very good day. Once the students arrive, they are screened, the temperature is taken, they are sanitized and they report directly to the classes. So what about COVID-19 health and safety protocols? Well, students at Leon Hess are to wear their masks for most of the school day and wash their hands regularly. The school will also dismiss the various forms at different times to avoid large social gatherings. When we sound the bell at 2.30, which is the end of the school day, um, the form 1s will leave. Then five minutes later we sound the bell. Then the form 3s will leave. Then five minutes after we sound the bell, then the form 5s will leave. We do the same tomorrow with the form 2s, 3s and 4s. So at the end of the school day, we have no crowding on the compound. So they live in intervals. So they are aware, the Form 5, for instance, they can be very restless, but they need to bear the ex additional 10 minutes that they'll be in the classroom with the teachers. I'm sure the teachers will engage them. And they totally understand why they would have to be kept back so that you could avoid the crowding and we want to encourage social distancing. Probably other schools could practice that as well. Meanwhile, at the St. Aloysius R.C. Boys Primary School, parents struggled to stay off the compound as they parted with their sons at the gates. Acting Principal Sister Elizabeth Japanel says guardians are having a hard time coming to terms with this protocol. It's been tough um, coming in, having the students adjust to that new, the, um, new normal because like I've said before, school is a social space. The boys are used to being up close and personal with their friends. They haven't seen their friends from, from March. So you must um, expect that they would come in and, you know, I want to hug and I want to meet my friend. I want to go to his class. That cannot be done. Um, I, I found the parents were a lot more anxious because not being able to walk their students, their, their, their sons or their wards in, that is new, it's foreign to them, and you could tell at the gate they were anxious, especially if they didn't come to orientation. That's why it's important that parents come to orientation, so you get the heads up before the actual day. So a few of them, they wanted to know, you know, the teacher, the class, but we told them, do not worry, your children are safe, we will take care of them, okay, that's what we are here for. Um, so... But they were, you know, by, by the gate waiting a little, a little while. But uh, in the end, they had to leave because they had to understand that it's not, it's not allowed, that they can no longer come on the, on the compound. Sister Elizabeth is hoping that the parents will get used to the new protocols as the school week goes by and students settle into their classes. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.